obviously had a lot of opportunities to score today. Um, do you think, were you happy with the offensive performance? Definitely, simply because we're getting better and better in front of the goal and creating a lot more opportunities than we were, you know, two or three games ago. So we're pretty satisfied, and especially the fact that we got three points. So, you know, we'll take it. Uh, it was on a free kick, and we were told to, you know, challenge the goalkeeper. She can she can drop some balls, and Kat Tar challenged her, and you know, I just kept my stride going, hoping the ball would come come to me, and it pretty much just laid right into my lap and went into the net. It's extremely important simply because they have Abby Wombach on their team and you know those that's one of the players that we truly want to shut down as an individual on you know a great team like that and you know them coming from playing in the final last year and being in the you know standings the way that they are this year it's it's a good opportunity for us now to get the three points against them and hopefully you know we just continue that. Uh, obviously, just finishing our chances. That's that's what it literally comes down to, and not giving the ball away in front of our goal as well. And just like I said, finishing our opportunities when they come. It, it gets frustrating, but we just have to keep going and going and creating opportunities as well. Is this a little bit misleading for this when people look at the offense of this team that we had so few goal scorers? Um, not really, because I mean we haven't we haven't lost you know, a terrible game yet. I mean, I know we lost against Seattle, but at the same time, you know, we're still building as a team, you know, offensively and defensively and throwing our strengths together, getting used to each other on the field. And, you know, that's really important. I know we need to be putting more goals, you know, in the net, but, you know, we still have the entire entire season to do so. It's obviously, you know, me surrounding myself with the players that I'm surrounded by, you know, and just being at the right place at the right time and just pretty much working hard for each other, just working hard in front of the goal. That's what it boils down to at the end of the day. Jessica, you have, you have five goals or more than any forward on Chicago, any forward on Seattle. At some point, does the idea of vindication come to mind? Oh, of course. Um, you know, it, it was a great opportunity to play on those teams, but I haven't been any happier than I have been here. You know, it, it's been more so of a comfort zone in comparison to those other two teams. So I think that's, you know, where I, where I build my confidence from, you know, being, being here in Portland and playing under Paul Riley. So it doesn't get any better than that, honestly. What is it about Paul? Because Philadelphia has success with players like Tasha Kai, mm -hmm. and Rodriguez snapped out of a slump with him. What is it about Paul creating goal scorers? I think it comes down to training, how hard we work for each other, and you know, trainings being high intensity all the time. We don't take a rest, you know, and that's where it boils down to. And you know, being brave and representing that crest on our hearts as well, you know, and he he gets us going. All right. Thanks, Jess. Appreciate it. Thank you.